So the sixth episode of Marvel's What If is out, and I'm going to be reviewing it. Hey guys, it's me, Bernie Bird. Welcome back to the video. It's raining right now. I think you guys can hear that. So sorry if you guys hear that. I can't control the weather, believe it or not. So we're just going to have to deal with it. So yeah, here's my review of the episode. It was a very cool episode. Uh, I wouldn't say it was as good as Zombies or Strange Supreme. Those two are still... But it, it was still very cool. And it, was, it was better than the Avengers 1 and the Captain Carter 1. So now I'll get into points that I liked about the episode just in general. So I liked the part where uh, Killmonger like ratted out Obadiah Stane for his plan. <laughs> that, that was really cool. And then Happy Hogan just pew, give him a good old punch. Michael B. Jordan was really great in this episode. He voiced Killmonger. He's really great. He's a really great voice actor and actor. And Killmonger is definitely one of the best MCU villains. And this episode made him, I don't know about a lot better, because he still has the same plan. But it was just really cool to see how he thought about everything. He thought about befriending Tony Stark, well, saving him, then befriending him. He thought about betraying him. Well, no, he thought about building a suit, then betraying him. Then starting a war between America and Wakanda, swooping in at the last second to be the hero of Wakanda, to become Black Panther, to get power, to give power to the world. <laughs> Tony Stark's voice actor was good, but obviously he's not Robert Downey Jr., so... But it was still good. For some reason, the writers of What If really like killing off Tony Stark, right? Like, it must be some kind of kink that they have. But in all honesty, it's probably just so they have an explanation as to why no Tony Stark variants show up in the, in, in the main MCU timeline. That and Robert Downey Jr. is very expensive. <laughs> also, for some reason, th this is something that like immediately came to mind whenever the scene was playing. How did Tony Stark die whenever the spear hit him like around here? But then whenever Sharon Carter in the last episode got hit in basically the same spot, she was okay. Like, and I know Killmonger like shove the spear into him but still i don't know i mean like i would have preferred if Killmon killmonger like stabbed him in the heart that would have made more sense although i guess then tony would just sort of died instantly so the watcher is also very close to interfering like you can see him i don't think you can see him fully throughout the entire episode i think there's still like one or two scenes with him where he's still in the background but i think by next episode we'll see all of him in every scene he's in uh and I 100% think that by the end of season one, he'll interfere. And he could interfere by, spoiler alert, bringing all the heroes together to defeat the Ultron Vision thing. You know, actually, speaking about Ultron Vision, I wonder what episodes we're going to see in the rest of season one. Like, we still have to see the one about Ultron Vision. We still have to see if Gamora took over as Thanos. We have to see if Thor went to Vegas. We have to see what if Tony went to Sakaar, although that one I do think will be in season two. And then obviously we have to see the team-up episode. And I feel like the Gamora Thanos one might actually be... She might be from T'Challa Star-Lord's universe, just because we don't see what happens to Gamora in that universe. And, you know, some of these episodes easily could have been pushed to season two. And I know there is a list of all the episodes out there that are in season one, but why would you want to see that? You know, why would you want to get spoiled on the episodes? Instead of getting spoiled... Of week or so before they come out you gotta get spoiled by marvel studios on twitter like i did for last week's episode or you gotta get spoiled whenever you load into disney plus and you see the character up top with the new episode but like i don't mind getting spoiled by disney plus because then it just feels a lot worse whenever you get spoiled on the internet rather than like a minute before you're gonna watch the episode but yeah overall i really like this episode some of the episodes of what if have been really hit or miss uh but i think the show is now really found its ground, you know, with zombies and Strange Supreme in this episode. They're really all great episodes. And with only three episodes left, I've got to say, I'm loving this show. And again, I've talked about how much I love the premise of a what-if show. This show is no exception. It's exactly what I wanted to see from a what-if show. Uh, it, it's not the what-ifs I wanted to see. Like, you know, I can think of a couple main ones. Like, what if so-and-so died? What if Thanos didn't get all the stones? And, you know, that doesn't mean I don't like the episodes. I really do. I think episodes like Zombies and Strange Supreme are really good. And they're great concepts for stories. And they executed them perfectly. So, yeah, I cannot wait for season two. Uh, obviously, it's probably going to have some what-if episodes we skipped in season one. And then hopefully some new ones as well. And I am praying, praying that we get a season three. I want this show to go on for so long. Like, what if is such a cool idea... And if they only limit it to two seasons, big missed opportunity. Because I know a lot of people love this show, myself included. 
So, you know. But the way it is with these Marvel shows is they tell a story, it's done. That's why we didn't get a WandaVision Season 2, Falcon and Winter Soldier Season 2. Oh, look, we're getting Captain America movie. And, like, obviously all the characters' stories are going to be continued in their movies or when they appear in other people's movies. But, you know, it would be nice to get, like, a... Well, I mean, it would make sense. But, like, it would have been nice to get, like, a Falcon and Winter Soldier Season 2, but it would be Captain America and the Winter Soldier, and then maybe they could change it to Captain America and the White Wolf. But, you know... And then obviously Loki's getting a season two because they are continuing that story. But what if you can really keep going with it? It never has to end as long as the creators keep coming up with ideas and Disney doesn't run out of money, which that's not happening anytime soon. I can guarantee you that. It's really just, I feel like the show will, will end or could end once Marvel closes the multiverse. And even then, like you have things like The Watcher, like if he does interfere in season one by the end, What's he going to do in season two? Just be in the darkness again? Is he going to interfere again? Because he does that in the comics a lot. But uh, obviously all these questions will be answered with time. So yeah, I have faith in Marvel that they will make the right decision. So that's all for this video, guys. Uh, let me know what you thought of the episode and the series as a whole so far. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.